So let's talk about how you can live well with atrial fibrillation. Leading a heart-healthy lifestyle can help you manage your atrial fibrillation better. This includes lifestyle changes, such as quitting smoking, eating a more heart-healthy diet, managing your diabetes, ensuring your blood pressure is within target limits, and exercising on a regular basis. I would like to add, however, that before starting any exercise program, please speak with your doctor first. Some people with atrial fibrillation find that if they consume a lot of alcohol or caffeine, it can cause their AF to act up. Alcohol and caffeine in moderation is usually fine. If you find this is the case for you, then it is best to limit your intake. And finally, take your medication as prescribed and never stop or change your medications without speaking with your doctor first. Your community pharmacist is also a good source of information and can help you understand more about your medications, side effects, and when the best time of the day is to take them. For more detailed information related to heart healthy living, please see our Heart Healthy Living Guide. Many people with atrial fibrillation like to check their pulse to see if their heart rate is regular and also to know how fast their heart is beating. The radial pulse is felt on the wrist just under the thumb. Counting the number of beats in one minute will give you your heart rate and you may also be able to tell if it is regular or irregular. There are also lots of technology options that people use as well as such as apps that are downloaded on devices or monitors on watches. So how can you tell your AF is under control? Generally this means you have normal activity levels, no abnormal bleeding, no chest pain or shortness of breath, However, you may still have rare episodes off irregular heartbeats. You should continue taking your prescribed medications and make sure to attend regular doctor's appointments. Keeping track of any unusual symptoms you may have to discuss with your doctor. Many people with atrial fibrillation wonder what to do if they have symptoms. If you have any of the symptoms noted on this slide, we suggest that you see your family physician, ideally within 24 hours, as your medication may have to be adjusted or you may need to have some extra tests arranged. This includes more shortness of breath with normal activities, more or longer palpations, more dizziness or unusual fatigue, bleeding from minor cuts, nosebleed, or excessive bruising or having urine that is pink, red, or brown. Please note, if you have received advice from your doctor on when to seek medical attention, please follow this specific advice. If you experience any of the symptoms indicated on this slide, you should call 911 and seek medical attention immediately. This includes feeling like you will pass out, a serious fall or hit to the head, feeling your heart is racing and it will not slow down, signs of uncontrolled bleeding such as black tarry stool, large amounts of noticeable bleeding, sudden signs of stroke like weakness, trouble speaking, vision problems, severe headache, dizziness. Remember, in any emergency, Never drive yourself to hospital. Please call 911. Thank you very much for taking the time to review this video. I hope you have found it informative and helpful. For more information on atrial fibrillation, anticoagulation, or heart healthy living, please visit the University of Ottawa Heart Institute Patient Guides.